Libra and welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I really appreciate it. This is going to be a general love and romance horoscope for those of you under the sign of Libra for the month of February 2020. However, if you happen to catch this reading outside of that timeline and it resonates for you, that means it was meant for you to hear at that time. Okay, so for those of you new on this journey, when I refer to Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, um, this can be, uh, I'm referring to uh, energies, I'm not referring to a specific gen gender, and I also use terms like this person, your person, he, she, they. This could be you I'm talking about, or someone close in the equation. Um because sometimes I do pick up karmic energy. All right. So I'm going to get the energy uh, surrounding you, uh, Libra, for this period. And um, all the decks that I'm using here are below in the description. Um, also, if there, <laughs> I lost what I was saying. Um, also, this is, um, since this is general, it's not going to resonate with every Libra out there. So I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested in booking one with me, all that information is below in the description, um, as well as um, most of the items you see here, including the jellyfish lamp, which the jellyfish are not real. My Instagram information, and if you'd like to support the channel with the don donation, that is much appreciated. Okay, Libra, so let's go ahead and get into your reading. Um, I am using the, um, these are the Steampunk Tarot. I'll be using Celtic Tarot, Mystic Moon, Oracles, Romance, Angels, uh, Kipper cards, and Lover's Oracle. And these are the Psychic Tarot that I'm picking up. All right, so this is the energy surrounding you, love and romance uh, with your uh, soulmate or twin flame. Or if it's a new person coming in, it will reveal itself. So we have mental conflict. Okay, so this is the two of swords of energy. So this could be um, your energy. But this is um, like a block energy or being stuck. So we'll see um, why that is there, Libra. Then we have soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So this is saying that if you have a uh, mental conflict, um, whether uh, someone is going to come forward or not, um, it's saying that if you just, you know, kind of believe that they're already there, um, they're going to manifest um, into reality is what I'm getting right now. So if that's you... Um, that has a mental conflict. Of course, this could be flipped. Anything that I put down here and I refer to you could be the other person. So just keep that in mind. And I'm going to try to minimize how many times I say that in a video. Okay. So this is the represent, uh, the energy that represents you, uh, Libra, through this period. And we have change. Okay. Um, I believe some other signs got this um, as well. So we might want to... Um, you might want to check if you're interested, but this is about a physical change, a major change. Okay. This could be leaving a house. This could be leaving a job, um, you know, or traveling to a new location, um, or leaving, um, traveling to inquire about maybe leaving for a new job. Um, but this is some kind of a major change. So you're either uh, physically moving or you're wanting to physically change something major in your life. Okay. So let's go ahead and see, um, the current situation or status between, um, you and your person Libra. And we have children. Your love life is being, being affected by children. So this could be actual children that, um, could be involved in the situation, or this could be about, uh, a childlike um, behavior or memories um, of the past. So I'll have to see why that's there. Then we have vibrations. Okay. So vibrations for me are things you receive either through meditation or telepathically. Okay. From the other person. Okay. So we'll see why that is there. And we have the seven of swords. So this is about getting away. Um, this could be sneaky. 
It could have to do with lies or cheating as well. Uh, this is air energy. So it could be Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This could be you or someone that you're dealing with. It could be another um, air sign. Um, but someone is getting vibrations possibly of getting away from something, um, you know, leaving. So I feel this, you know, could be your energy, Libra. So we have five of swords. So five of swords is a uh, conflict, internal conflict. This can be uh, fighting, um, you know, things of uh, that nature uh, can be competition as well. So, you know, some of you are what I'm feeling might be dealing with a situation that could involve another air sign um, of getting away from the mental conflict or the fighting. Um, just not wanting um, to deal with that um, or in others of you or just getting away from a competition, um, you know, maybe another uh, person uh, because you're wanting to change. OK, so this could involve somebody um, uh, from your past or someone that makes you um, um, or some I, I want to say like a, an immature kind of energy is kind of what I'm getting. OK. All right, so let's go ahead and see who is coming in or what is coming in for you, Libra, during this period. And we have a magician, okay? So the magician is someone who manifests things um, and has all the tools that they need. So someone could be manifesting um, you to come in or you're manifesting someone to come in. Uh, some, someone new, something different. And get some more information about this magician. Why is the magician here for who or what is coming in for Libra during this period? Okay. Someone from the past. Someone that you have fond memory. So I'm sensing that you're possibly wanting to get away um, from uh, a situation, maybe someone um, that you might be currently with in order to go with someone from your past um, or someone from your past is um, manifesting a return uh, towards you. Nostalgia is about past, it's about fond memories, um, you know, that you have with someone. Okay. So let's see, um, how does your person currently see you, um, Libra? How does your person currently see you? And they see you as um, the death card. So this is um, Scorpio um, energy. Um, you could have it in your chart or, you know, it could be a Scorpio involved in this equation. Doesn't uh, mean so. But this is about an ending. Um, this is also about endings that bring out new beginnings, a, a major transformation, basically. And we do have this change here. So this, um, I could see you, you know, wanting to change, you know, wanting to end the old, um, whatever old situation that you've been dealing with, uh, for something new. So let's see why is the death card here for how your person sees you, Libra. inner child. Okay. And it does say something about, um, children are affecting your, um, love life here. So, um, they could be seeing you as still, um, needing to deal with, um, inner child, uh, issues, um, um, wanting to, you know, go for something more playful, m something more exciting, um, for some of you. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting. That you want your um that playful energy. Yeah. And for some of you it could be possibly like, you know, someone that you, you know, had this um childhood um connection with, wanting to end something different and go towards your, you know, your inner child, your uh playful um child um energy. <laughs> that's the best way I can explain it. <laughs> um what does your person currently uh, want from you? Some of you also, I'm picking up here to some, some of them, I'm seeing you as uh, childish. 
I'm also getting that too. Okay, so that's just their their energy. Not saying that's what you are, but how they're um, seeing you. Okay, so what is your person currently wanting from you? Nine of Cups or Nine of Caldrons in this deck. Um, this is wish fulfillment. Okay, wanting and it can be about, you know, awards as well. Um, some recognition. It can be selfish behavior. Um, so let's just see why it's there. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Or what Libra's person wants from them. So it's the cycle is like closing up a chapter, you know, going through a new cycle. So they, they could see you as um, the, either the end of, um, because it's what they're wanting from you. So I feel like there's like a, um, a selfish uh, energy. What they're wanting is to um, kind of uh, close a chapter in um, this wish fulfillment. So it's either you or them. You could be dealing with a water sign also. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But... They might, if they, for some of you that they're seeing you in a child is energy one in that they could um, be wanting you to um, close up this cycle of being uh, selfish. Uh, that's what I'm getting, that they feel that you are being selfish. Or again, this could be them. Okay. And some, um, what I'm also picking up as a message here is uh, closing a cycle of the past as well. Okay. All right. So what action is um, your person going to take towards you, Libra, during this month, February 2020? And we have the hangman. So the hangman is in suspension on a pause, looking at things from a different perspective, you know, trying to see if if by looking at it from this view you might be able to gain some different type of knowledge of the situation so let me see why this um hangman is here for the action or outcome they're going to take patience so this is a waiting energy this also um i see this as sagittarius energy patience um, balance, action, emotion. It also can be about timing, which I think this is um, divine timing. Like someone is waiting. They're looking at this situation from a whole new perspective, um, possibly wanting some type of balance, maybe even a healing. But there's a hold here. There's a waiting period. So that's what I'm getting um, for you guys. Okay. So let's see what's on the bottom of these cards. <laughs> I can't pick up these cards because my nails. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying to grab his hearts over here. <laughs> Okay. All right. So this says, look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. So if this is you, Libra is telling you kind of take a look at yourself and examine, you know, if why you have mental conflict, um, why you, you, you in this energy, um, whatever the situation is, whether you're trying to get away from a situation or, uh, you're the one that might be um, selfish or because of inner child inner, uh, issues. But it's saying here also love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So you may be already in this um, energy and um, you um, are attracting other people because you're starting to, you know, go within, kind of look inside yourself. Um, 
We do have here on the bottom, Passion Ignited, which is the Ace of Wands. This is about a brand new beginning. So this could be a, you wanting this brand new beginning, getting away from the old, getting away from any conflict or um, maybe uh, competition for some people. And then we have Rebirth. So this is also um, a death and rebirth um, uh, energy. This is Judgment, clearing out uh, karmic cycles. Um a karmic energy, you know, taking a look at things, possibly taking a look at your past, um, inner child issues to see, you know, where this mental conflict uh, came from, where this energy of um, possibly maybe even being in relationships that have a lot of fighting and uh, conflict. OK, so. I'm getting that the message um, has been received that this is what you need to do, that you need to like focus on yourself, focus on your passion, uh, get rid of anything that is just not working in your favor. And I feel like this gift is um, for yourself. I can offer to yourself. OK, some of you might actually be receiving an offer. Um, it could involve a Virgo. Um, we have the hermit here. Hermit is about going within. Um, you know, uh, taking a break, being, you know, by yourself, looking into situations, um, gaining knowledge, being um, knowledgeable yourself from going within as well, being very wise. So with this love yourself and this passion um, uh, ignited here, I feel like this is a brand new beginning for you is on the horizon or you've al you already know this, you have the knowledge that this is what you need to do. You need to, you know, take care of yourself, focus on yourself and love yourself first and everything else is going to fall into place. Okay, Libra. So that's what I have for you. I hope that resonated with you and your situation. If it did, please like, comment or share um, or subscribe uh, to the channel. I think I said that. <laughs> um, also, all these decks I use here and most of the items you see are below in the description. Um, and as well as if you wanted to book a, book a personal reading with me, that information is also below. All right. So I want to thank each and every one of you, Libra, for watching. I appreciate you very much. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love and light.